Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Sun conjunct Sun in Sinistry. Now, well, first off, when you have the Sun conjunct Sun in Sinistry, in most cases, the Sun will be in the same sign, and in most cases, the basic character is the same. The Sun is the true self of a person you know the ascendant of course is the you know the uh, astrological masculine facade of the characteristics you may project outwardly but the sun is actually the true self as opposed to the outer self which is the ascendant now and you have the basic character in most cases then again being the same and you know it could go you know either way you know as far as you know, compatibility goes because you could have a lot of characteristics that would be one and the same but the pro thing about it is i would say you know the familiarity breeds contempt um you know theory can come into play as um well uh with this and a lot of this i mean keep in mind this is just one aspect and, you know i've talked about you know in my earlier videos about never isolating you know one aspect in a in a, in a natal chart and make an analysis on it. And the same, I would say, would apply when you're talking about a sinister, you know, relationship chart. And a lot of this compatibility, when you have the sun conjunct the sun, you know, you know, a lot of the other aspects do need to be, you know, delineated because this is a neutral aspect. This could have good and bad qualities to it. And that compatibility, you know, may be predicated more, you know, a lot more on the other aspects. But you know, by itself, I mean, you could have, you know, the wants, you know, being one and the same with the person. If you have, you know, the cancer, so let's say it's in the zodiac sign cancer, um, you know, it could be, you know, having you know, that domestic security and wanting, you know, the family, the home, and introversion, having safety, having some kind of protection. And these people can, you know, be, you know, it could wind up being a good match. But the thing about it is you could also have a, um, you know, a clash of egos in some uh, cases. I mean, you could have, you know, a situation you know, with the family members and, you know, trying to strive for, you know, both, both people trying to strive for attention, you know, from others. And, you know, this, again, you know, you're talking about, you know, conjunction, again, could be neutral. I mean, it can have some good in it, but remember, when you have conjunctions, it's also friction related. So you have to, you know, really consider that when you're looking at sinistry, you know, aspects in general, as far as conjunctions go. There could be, when you have the sun conjunct the sun in sinistry, it could be intensified focus, which is the sun, you know, on, really on the others, you know, the fundamental, you know, character of the person, which is the sun. And both people may be, you know, really, you know, understanding each other well, because again, in most cases, they will, you know, the sun conjunct the sun you know, you're going to have it in the same sign. Now, in some cases, you could have it in different signs. Um, you know, I believe in out of sign, you know, aspects. If you have, you know, somebody could have, for example, you know, the sun in Gemini at 29 degrees, and the other person could have the sun in Cancer at 3 degrees, and that would form an out of um, sign conjunction, you no know, sinistry um, aspects. So you know, it would still, you know, a lot of the, I mean, it still could apply um, because, you know, you're still getting friction between both, um, you know, planets and, you know, in that example. And, you know, let's say, you know, if you have the uh, conjunction aspect, take another example, say if the both suns are in Aries, you know, you could really see, you know, you know, one person being similar to you as far as that inner, that true self, and you know, the inner self of both people, you know, can be very you know, aggressive, assertive, abrupt, outspoken, courageous, and combative. Now, the thing about this is, and the lives of the people may be comparable because remember, the sun is about life. And you could have, you know, the similarity uh, with that. It could also, if you have this aspect in sinistry, it may shine the light, so to speak, 
you know, on the positive attributes and abilities that each other uh, may have. And the thing about this too is that this is um, each person may spark, you know, that creative, you know, energy of each other because the sun is connected with creative energy and both people may uh, mutually you know really drive and motivate the other one and it could be toward attaining um one's you know basic um you know the basic wants which is connected um with the sun and let's say you know, I would say, too, that each other can readily motivate one another to take action. And, you know, let's say that this conjunction, you know, sinister aspect, the conjunction is in Scorpio. Well, it's, it could be about taking action, you know, with crisis situations, transformation. It might be matters pertaining to a will, an inheritance, taxes. Um, insurance, it could be getting some kind of power or control um, in a situation. And you know, this is really, you know, again, it's very, um, when you have, you know, this, you know, aspect, I mean, it could also indicate, I talked about it being in some cases, it could be a clash of egos. It could also be about, you know, wills in some cases, the clash of wills, um, you know, being, um, you know, going at going at each other, and but the thing about this is, I mean, if you have a lot of other, you know, you know, like a lot of positive, you know, sinistry aspects in, in you know, between the two of you, you know, that would modify things greatly, and it would really, you know, it would show that there would be more, you know more compatibility as opposed to not but you know keep in mind in all you know practically I would say just at least just about all sinistry charts are gonna have you know positive and negative aspects and there's always things that need to be worked on when you're talking about sinistry um, you know in between one person and another um, in astrology and you could have you know, um, you know, again, like the out of sign, you know, type of, um, you know, type of uh, you know, aspect, you know, when you have, uh, like, like I talked about before, the Gemini, you know, late Gemini, you know, sun, you know, conjoining an early Cancerian um, sun. I mean, let's take, you know, another example. Let's say somebody has a late you know, sun and cancer degree. They have the sun and cancer at 28 degrees, and the other person has the Leo degree at three degrees. Now you could have, you know, I mean, though you have the conjunction, there may be a little more friction involved because you have two different signs, cancer and Leo, even though they're adjacent signs, they see things, you know, they're very different in terms, you know, the sun, the basic character, because the sun and cancer it can be very reserved, introverted, very homebound, um, all more about safety and security. And the Leo Sun, the basic character, could be more flamboyant, gregarious, and extroverted. And you could have a little bit more of a clash, I would say, because there would be in, in the different signs, and there's such a strong disparity. And those, the, you know, the adjacent signs often will not see each other eye to eye because they don't un really understand, you know, one another. So that's an example as far as different signs may go. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, everyone learn science. Stay well.